Okay, so what's up YouTube? I'm here to do my vinyl collection to guys show you guys my metalcore slash post hardcore vinyls in my collection and oh my god this is gonna be interesting. Um it's a, I enjoy metalcore and post hardcore. It's actually a genre that I do enjoy a lot of bands. I do enjoy a lot of bands I've seen live, but um I know it gets a lot of hate that style of music, either because of the popularity or it's just, I understand it gets a bit repetitive, but it's a genre I do personally enjoy and it's actually pretty cool. In the background we're going to have some good old tech death, which is decapitated, so yeah. Um, something I, I think majority of my fans will enjoy a lot more, but uh, yeah, I enjoy metalcore. Uh, these are bands I enjoy. Some bands I used to listen to, some bands I still listen to till this day. So yeah, let's blast. Um, let's show you guys. So the first one we're gonna start off with one that um pretty controversial now. It's um so this is as it lay dying decades. This is an FYE exclusive um, clear splatter to limit to a uh, thousand copies. It's really beat up because that's how I picked it up at FYE. Yeah, beautiful fucking crease right there. Yeah, but it was the only copy they had during the time, and now they have brand new copies that look gorgeous. So it's kind of disappointing, but fuck it. I wasted a day of food, all of my lunch money, just to buy this. I was in high school, leave me alone. But yeah. This is just like a compilation of like some cover songs and some remixes of some of their songs. And. There's a con when I mean controversial after the shit that happened with fucking um, Tim, I remember. If I remember, that's his name. It's been a while, sorry. Like, I have not listened to you guys in a while, but um, yeah, it's controversial. And plus, apparently, they're, they're a Christian metalcore band, but at the same time, they're, they're a fake Christian metalcore band. That's what I heard. And then, don't quote on me, but that's what I heard. Um, they cover Slayer, which is actually pretty, was pretty good. Hellation and Electric Guy by fucking Judas Priest, two great songs, and yeah, pretty interesting release. This is the only vinyl I have from them so far because um, the records I like from them, the albums, are like their first albums and like some other records, but they're so overpriced and I'm not paying that much because I'm sorry, like I enjoy this band, but I'm not paying that much for it. So yeah. Here it is, Azalea Dying. The only Azalea Dying record I own right now because, like I said, it's too bright. Here's one of a band that a uh, old friend got me into. This is Atreyu. Um, that's of Atreyu. This is a Record Store Day exclusive. They just pressed it on this pinkish Marvel version. So if you want to get that version, you could. It's way more limited than this, but this is a Record Store Day exclusive. This is limited to. I remember 3,000 copies, and it's an awesome, it's like, it opens up like that, which is really interesting, something new, so I was like, cool, it wasn't even that pricey when I bought it, it was only $20, and this cotton candy color bottom, it's their greatest hits of a trade when they were during, during the time when they were with, um, Victory Records, oh my god, Victory Records, <laughs> and, um, yeah, same thing, um, it's a, it's a double LP, but it's, um, side D is an etching. Pretty interesting, but, um, I do enjoy Atreyu. One of my friends got me into them because a friend told me if I like Evergreen, um, Terrace, I would probably like Atreyu. And, heck, I gave them a try, and holy shit, I fucking enjoyed them. I do enjoy Atreyu. They're a great band. Uh, I wanted to see them live, but I couldn't, sadly. But, yeah, great sits. If you could, definitely pick this up. Um, like I said, it doesn't go for that much, this version, and there's also, like, a pink version that's available on uh, Victory Records website, so if you want that version, go ahead. So to, like, a hundred and something copies. I forgot, Victory Records has the weirdest pressing. This is my favorite album from Atreya. This is The Curse. This album fucking kicks ass. Um, this is, uh, I think a Hot Topic exclusive when I bought it, because it was on sale, no one was buying it, so I bought it. And here it is, on this solid red, which I do like, the problem is, this pressing is really weird, I'm planning to pick up a better pressing, because this pressing, um, it sounds, the sound sounds way too low, which, 
it's kind of weird but um yeah it's, it's weird but it's my favorite album from them I do enjoy this record if you have not definitely give this record a try it's really good it's like old school metalcore like early 2000s metalcore one of my holy grails in my Vana collection in general and one of my holy grails in my metalcore collection is August Burns Red's Constellation. This is a 2016 reissue. I'm so happy they fucking reissued this because the original pricing went for like over a hundred fucking dollars. Problem is with this reissue, I'm not a huge fan of the new artwork. I prefer the original one because the original one for me is iconic and it reminds me of high school. But this new artwork is alright. I got the Swamp Green edition. Yeah, put it into the light. There you go. Because if you, if I put it in my record player, it's all fucking dark. Like it's, it looks like a black vinyl. But when you put it in the light, you're like, oh. So yeah, it's real. It's a my favorite fucking August Burns Red record. It's one of my favorite albums. Um, it's one of my holy grails in my vinyl collection because it's on a meta. It's one of my favorite metaphor albums of all time. And yeah. The record is fucking amazing. Um, it's probably their most popular record because of like fucking whitewash and uh, Mariana's Trench. But for me, the whole record is fucking amazing. So yeah, definitely. Um, if you, it already, it's already sold out. I know that. Swamp Green is limited to 500 copies, and this red version, um, there's a red and orange version, which is limited to like a thousand copies. Uh, Swamp Green version, I think, goes for a little bit more. So this is a Hot Topic exclusive of their newest album. This is August Burns Red. Um, found, found in faraway places. Um, I really like how the cover feels. It is really nice. I do like the album covers. It's pretty simple. And August Burns Red always likes their little simple font. Nothing crazy, nothing too crazy. And I don't know, I always like their covers like that. It's just... I could always tell that's on the red. And this is on the Ox Red. Um, this is probably the most rare version of the whole series um, of this pressing of this record because um, the most limited, I meant to say. Because it's a Hot Topic edition. All the other color versions are limited to 500 copies. But Hot Topic has the, mo lim the most limited to the Ox Red for 300 copies. So yeah, I picked this up before it sold out. Yeah, 300 copies. Um, the record I do enjoy. It. Um, that's one of the reasons I picked it up during the time when it first came out. Uh, I picked this up when I saw them live at Warp Tour, my first ever Warp Tour. This is August um, Burns Red Leveler. It's pretty fucking cool. Uh, first ever August Burns Red record I ever picked up, and probably one of the first records I ever have in my collection. Pretty fucking cool. Uh, I like the army green color. It really is fucking amazing. This is limited to a thousand copies, and this is like the reissue of Leveler because um the original was in double LP, I think in black, if I'm correct. But yeah, pretty fucking cool. Um, I enjoy this record. This record. Some people have mixed feelings about, but I personally enjoy it. Then, uh, not their best, but something for me to enjoy during the time, and I still enjoy Blast Nail time and time again. Here's one that, um, I don't really consider this full hardcore or metalcore anymore, there's something else, but Bring the Horizon, this is a single ground. Um, I do have Bring the Horizon in my collection. Um, but I don't have any of their metalcore stuff or post hardcore shit, whatever, metalcore mostly, but I don't have it in my collection right now, so I can't show you, but this is the closest thing. The only thing I have from them right now besides this is Count Your Blessing, but that's step it. so yeah. But yeah, here it is. Drown single, uh, picture disc, only one size playable and then the rest is crap. Um, just picture uh bring it to horizon a band i used to listen to a band i don't like now a band that i only like this one song from the new album and everything else is just not my cup of tea a band i don't care about anymore and a band i saw live and i did not enjoy so yeah this is okay this this one uh if you guys want to debate on the name go ahead but this is he, I call them Kyotos because that's how my friend called them in high school and after that I've been calling them Kyotos. But 
some people like to call them Kyoto's. So yeah, I call them Kyoto's. So yeah, hey, if you go agree with me or disagree, but that's that's how my friend called them in high school, and I got used to it. Uh, this is Devil. This is like their 2013 or 2014 record, and uh, this is on an awesome gray Marvel version. It looks fucking awesome. Um, let's see, what can I say? Um, I enjoy this record. This record fucking kicks ass in my opinion. Um, it's interesting, dead ass. It's de a really interesting record. Another reason why I like it, it has Tom from fucking Fall of fucking Troy, which. I'm a huge Fall of Troy fan, so yeah. But, um. It's pretty cool. I like it. And yeah, I picked it up. It's a great record. Definitely recommend checking them out. Um, here's another one. It sounds more pulse hardcore for me, but this is um, Chiodos, Chiodos, whatever you want to call it. This is, uh, what is it? Unreleased Tracks R2M2. R2 Me2. And let me get you a towel. This is a record store day exclusive. This is I forgot limited to like something, but um I picked this up at uh, Merch Now a few years back. No, like around last year. And this is on a clear green, seven inch. I prefer side B the most because side B song is so fucking good. And um side side A song is alright, but I mostly um fell in love with side B. And it was really cheap when I ordered it, so I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna order it, and... Yeah, it's really cheap. Yeah. Chiodos, unreleased. Uh, here's one band that... I know people hate, but I fucking enjoy them. I met the singer, I met the whole band, uh, before... I met the original drummer before he left, I think. I think he was the original drummer, but, um... This is... Chuck no Captain Junk. I fucking enjoy these guys. These guys are mad fun. They're fucking great live. And I saw them live, um, like in my second world tour. And yeah, this is their last sound that came out like around last year, I think. And this is, what's it called? Yeah, last year. It's uh, Get Lost, Get Lost, Find Yourself. It's such a great fucking record. I had to pick it up. And this is the Hot Topic edition, which I think is limited to 500 copy on purple. I have a lot of Hot Topic edition because Hot Topic is the place you want to be when you want to buy hardcore metalcore exclusive vinyls because they that's like their fucking eye candy shit. But last one I found at the store and then after I could never find it again at the store so I'm happy I picked it up. Record I fucking enjoy. Um, it's a it's a great record. Lyrics wise, for me they're just a fun band. I don't really care what anybody says. Seeing them met this met the whole band. They're really really nice, and I have my CD of them signed too from the whole band. They're extremely nice people. I took a picture with the singer. Really 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 great band in my opinion. And this is probably my favorite album from them. This is Chuck No Captain Chuck. Pardon my French. Um, this rec this is the record that got me into them. This is limited to 300 copy hand number. I got. 268 and this is on a solid red vinyl problem with this pressing is first song it skips and it, there's nothing you could do it it's the pressing's fault so it's a bad pressing and i'm hoping to like find in discog uh like a version that doesn't skip but yeah last time i saw this it i have not seen the other pressings like they had other colors that i wanted to get but um i could never find it online surprisingly but i want to pick up with the other versions of it but yeah this is a great that one's a great fucking metalcore record here's another great fucking metalcore record and for me i kind of got pushed away from these guys because um they're fans mostly but this is uh crown the empires the fallout and their music just went downhill for me. So, Crown the Empire. First album, The Fallout. Their first EP. Are fucking great records. Second album. Good. I enjoy it. Not their best, but I was a little bit too hyped for it. Because of this record. Third album. They lost me. So, Crown the Empire. The Fallout. This is... Oh my god. I was so happy when I found this. Um, they found... I found out they did a press thing. This is a hot topic exclusive. Shocker. 
orange. Solid orange. Looks fucking gorgeous. But, like I said, just... This record is fucking great, but... Then they start calling the fans the runaways, and then... Uh, I don't know why, I'm sorry, they just pushed me away. I still fucking enjoy this record, but... And some, some songs on their second album, Rise of the Runaways. I was planning to get that on vinyl, and I did not. Because, like I said, it, I was too hyped for it, and I'm kinda happy I did not pre-order right now. <laughs> I, just ha I just picked up the CD the day it came out, and I was like, okay, this is alright, not, not as good. Okay, so this is a uh, day to remember. Common courtesy. This is the Shark Attack edition. I got this on Hot Topics website. Thank you, Hot Topics, for having this awesome record. I'm only gonna take out one record because they're basically the both the same. So you see the blood splatter. It's only part of the plastic, and the record is only on dark, clear blue. And the record sounds fucking amazing. This record, I remember when it first came out. It was fucking great, um, and I had to pick it up on vinyl. So yeah, um, what's it called? Um, is it up here? Wait, sorry. Oh no, it's just part of the fucking record. Extra fucking wax on the record. But, um, what can I say about this record? It's fucking amazing. Uh, this edition is awesome because it's, a. Uh, What's it called? It's an Australian exclusive tour edition, which I did not know until later on. It's not a Hot Topic exclusive because um, when I unboxed it and everything, I bought it from Hot Topic and I thought it said a Hot Topic exclusive when I bought it, but it, it wasn't. It was just uh, God damn it! This is the name to put on. To be honest, the only problem I have to put on this record is the fucking like. Because there's an inner sleeve, and with the sh it looks gorgeous, but god damn it, like putting it back inside the like sleeve and everything, it's kind of annoying because um, it's a, like a shark attack edition. But yeah, um, if you have not listened to this record, I fucking recommend it. It's such a great fucking record from beginning to end. And oh my god, I remember when they first um released what's it called the first single, the contract speaks for itself. Or, yeah, something like that. They had a recording of, like, somebody from Victory Record that... Here's the thing. This is the band that kind of opened up the light on why Victory Record is such... Not the best fucking, um... Record label. But, yeah. If you have not listened to this fucking record, I definitely recommend it. That record is great. Here's another record from them, another Day to Remember classic for those who have a heart. This is a uh, Hot Topic exclusive, Shocker, and this is on the green with a little bit smudgy black there because why the fuck not? This is a weird pressing for me, but um, when I mean weird pressing, I mean color wise. Sound wise, sounds fucking great. So yeah, really happy I have this in my collection. I fucking enjoy Day to Remember. They're a fun band to listen to with me and my friends, and yeah. And I have not listened to their new album though. I have to give it a try. Here's another copy of For Those Who Have a Heart. This is the Hot Topic exclusive picture disc version. Well, during the time it was an exclusive. One, I think 180 grams. To be honest, these picture discs look fucking gorgeous. The problem is, um, there's something stuck on my record, or it's just a bad pressing, but it's it like has a little popping noise at one of the songs. It's only on side A, and then side B sounds fucking good. But I really like these um, picture discs. These picture discs look fucking gorgeous, and I do like how they did the fucking sleeves because it's not that stupid fucking. Oh, we're just gonna put in a fucking plastic sleeve. It's one of these. So thank you, thank you, Victory Record. And here's my favorite fucking album from them. This is Homesick, who doesn't know this fucking record. This record is an amazing, um, like, metalcore plat, uh, slash post hardcore. Such a great fucking record. And it has one of the most famous lines, which is, Disrespect your surroundings. It's on a plain black. They came out with another pressing with its, um, a color that matches the album cover, which is, like, purple and blue and, like, that. But, 
I'm not one of those people who like buying the same records, and especially buy another record just because it's a different color. I'm okay with my black one for now. I don't really fucking mind. I'm just happy I have this record in my collection, to be honest. This record is one of my favorite metalcore records of all time, to be honest. It's, one of, it's a record that I fucking love. And, yeah, it's the most popular record. Hey, thanks. I'm sorry, but they're, they're popular for a reason. So, this is another 7-inch from them. This is A Day to Remember. Attack of the Killer B-Side. This has a lot of, like, songs that they had, like, in pop. Oh, is it? Punk ver Ghost Pop, which it's not really punk, but fuck it. Um, but yeah. They have a lot of good songs, a lot of cover songs, and a lot of acoustic songs, which is cool. This is during the time. This is pretty cool. It's I got the limited to like a hundred something covers if I remember. On the clear blue with like black more like little black things, but you can't see them that well. But yeah, it was kind of disappointing. Like how they showed the art, like the how they showed it. It looked awesome, and then when I got it, I was like, hmm, what's so right? But I'm just happy to have this. Pretty cool. Enjoy. Here's one that I'm actually really happy to have. This is a Daryl Prada. Um, what is it? 818. This is signed by the whole band. Uh, second world tour I ever went to. What was it? Yeah, second world tour I ever went to. Got it signed by the whole band. Kid full. Really awesome. And during the time, this is a... This was limited to only 100 copies, and it was a World Tour exclusive, but apparently now they made more copies, fuck me. But this is on this awesome pink vinyl, and it looks fucking awesome. This record sounds really good. I actually enjoy it a lot. And, like I said, um, signed by the whole band members. Met them, really nice guys, and, yeah, tell the fuck yeah. I fucking enjoyed Devil Wars probably, dude. And they did one of my favorite EPs of all time. Sorry, I don't have it on vinyl because they don't, I, I don't know why they have not reissued that, especially when they did their tour. But yeah, this is their worst products. This is a double OP thing. This is actually pretty cool. I was actually really happy when I got this. But um, this is Plagues, and this is Dear Love, a, a beautiful deathcore. For their worst products first album and their worst products second album. Pretty fucking awesome. Um, double LP. Something really awesome. I'm just gonna show this really quick because um, it's annoying to put back on the sleeves. But this is a Hot Topic exclusive on clear. I don't know how much this was limited to, but it's an ultra clear vinyl. I mostly bought it for the first album. Legs. I can't get into that album that much. It's. I could. I like their first album, but I can't get into their their freaking second album that much. I don't know why. And then, uh, and then other than that, some albums are like hit and, hit and miss for me. But their EPs are fucking great. Um, I remember some, me and this kid were talking about it, like, there was probably had better EPs than albums. That's, that's what me and my, me and this kid talked about one time when I went to Metal, uh, Metalcore, and then New York Comic Con. But if you have not, I recommend you picking this up if you find it. It's definitely worth it. You get two records, and during the time, this was, um, this was only $20, so I had to pick it up. Because you get two albums for the price of one, so, yeah. It's really fucking cool. And last but not least, of this part one, this is There Was Prada Space EP. This is an, an EP. Like I said, their EPs are fucking by far better, in my opinion. And... This EP kicks ass. I fucking love it. Um, I have the exclusive Hot Topic exclusive version on Ultra Clear. Apparently, Hot Topic likes to do it. And then the back is an etching, which you can barely see, but you can kind of see it there because it's Ultra Clear. If you have a like a different color version, like one of my friends has the white version, um, you could see it much better. But um, I ha I got the clear one because during the time uh, I just wanted the clear one. Uh, no, I just wanted the EP too, like. This EP kicks so much ass. One of my favorite fucking releases from last year. If I remember it was last year. Yeah, it was last year. And yeah. So yeah. 
So this is part one. I'm gonna do part two maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'm not 100% sure. I'm sorry. I keep on saying I'm gonna do a video tomorrow, but and I don't end up doing it. I'm sorry. It's either I'm busy with school and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna do maybe part two tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoy this and stay fucking metal, guys. Take care.